Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I am so sorry I've been gone for two weeks. I had surgery recently, unfortunately, but it was a blessing. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this neutral but slight glamorous easy makeup look. So in this video you guys will see me create this look. I'll also go over the brushes that I use and I'll talk about what I'm doing step by step. That way you guys can follow along with me. Um, I did go a little, little bit crazy with the dark colors in my crease. If you guys feel like it's too dramatic, you can tone it down. I tried a new palette for the first time and it's so funny because a lot of people have requested for me to do a neutral everyday makeup look. Hopefully this is neutral. Well, it's too late now. I literally typed in Google best eyeshadow palette or best neutral eyeshadow palette for dark or deep skin tones. And none other than the Juvia's Place Warrior palette came up first. Like, I'm not even kidding y'all. Like, I'm not sponsored by Juvia's Place or anything. They do not know I exist. But as you can see, they have a lot of really pretty shades, like a lot of golds, champagne, just different medium tone browns that I think will suit a lot of different skin tones. So I'm gonna create this look for you guys on camera. That way you guys, if you do like the look, you can re recreate it yourself. Definitely tag me on Instagram if you do recreate it. I love seeing that. Also, I do have a surprise for you guys at the end of the video. So make sure you guys watch the entire video all the way through. That way you don't miss out on the surprise that I have for you at the end. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with a blank canvas. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm coming to you with a bare face. And the first thing I always do is use a eyeshadow base. Now I use the P. Louise Bade in shade four or five. I kind of alternate between the two, but you can use any eyeshadow base. You can use a concealer, you can use, I used to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer back in the day. You can use just a regular old eyeshadow primer. I just like to use what I know that works and the P. Louise base always works for me. So I just go in with a little bit and I just use a Real Techniques, I don't really know what brush this is. I will have a link in the video. I just take it and dab it all over my lid just to cancel out any discoloration so I can have a blank, even canvas. I wait for the eyeshadow base to get a little tacky and then I put on my eyeshadows. Ooh, look at this gorgeous palette. She is stunning. So I'm gonna take this Ahosi probably saying that horribly wrong. So if you guys have seen my posts on YouTube, I always do like posts of what I'm gonna do next or just like a poll to see what you guys are interested in seeing next on my channel. And I did a poll on possibly reviewing the Morphe 35 eye palette. You know, I was super excited to pick it up from Ulta, was like even excited walking in the store, looking for the display. And when I got to the display, um, I don't really know how to describe, but I was just like, hold up. It ain't for me, sis. Mm -mm. I'm gonna take the Kano color and then just pop that right in my crease. So how is everybody doing today? I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. I promise it wasn't intentional. You know, life happens, I had surgery. Uh, so if you guys didn't know, or if you are new to my channel, I had jaw surgery a year ago and I have screws in my face. Um, they were just to hold my bones in place. Don't really need them anymore. My bones are healed, but one screw in particular was bothering me near my nose, so I had that removed. So I was off work, just recovering, and I wanted to do videos, but I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna, not gonna 
come on camera with the swollen face. Uh, that would be weird. This color is like the perfect brown transition color. And I'm using a um, Zoeva 228 brush. And I remember to let you guys know what brushes I'm using. I feel like this month has just flown by. Like, I feel like not too long ago, I was just talking about welcome to 2020. And now, welcome to February, y'all. It's crazy. Time is flying by. So I feel like the palette doesn't really have like a medium tone matte brown. Did y'all hear that? Yeah, I'm home alone, so. Weird noises do freak me out. Anyways, I'm gonna take this kind of like medium to deep tone brown. It's called Coco Bear. It's by Makeup Geek. Cause I don't really have like a mid tone brown. Well, this is kind of mid tone, but I need something a little bit richer than that to deepen up this eye look. I'm gonna take my Morphe M433 brush and just use that. And then just kind of blend it right under the Kano shade. Now you don't have to use this brown, but I'm sure everybody has like a medium deep brown shade in their collection. So just use what you have for this step. And I'm just patting this in. I don't like to really rub just yet until I get the color deposited where I want it to be and then I'll blend. So I'm going back in with the 228 Zoeva brush. I'm just gonna blend out any harsh lines. Now I'm gonna go in with this Minnow deeper matte. It looks, it low key looks a little olive. -y. It looks like it has an olive undertone, so I'm hoping this color works. I'm gonna take my, oh, no, I don't wanna use you. I'm gonna take my MAC 217, my Triple OG, love this brush. I'm gonna pop that in my outer V and then just build up the color. So I'm taking a little bit more of the Cocoa Bear color and I'm just going to put a little bit more of that because I did lose some of that definition with the Minnow shade. But the mineral shade is nice. Like I thought it would look a little weird because it did give me all of grayish vibes, but it actually blended out to a really nice dark pigment tip brown. All right, I know it's looking a little intense, but I promise it'll look more natural uh, once I start doing my lid colors. Mm. Kind of went a little in on the minnow shade. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm taking a new product that I'm using for the first time. I'm actually using a few things for the first time, but this is the MMM Mitchell Blank Canvas Eyeshadow Base. I'm gonna use this to cut my crease today. The packaging is so cute, like, look at it. This looks like, I don't know, like paint, mini paint. This is thick. Get, is that cars or leaf blowing? What? No, why would there be leaf blowing this late at night? So I'm gonna take this base and then just cut my crease a little bit, just a little bit. I think I went a little too deep with the dark brown. So I'm just gonna brighten up that inner corner before I put on any other shades. I like this base a lot. Like it's definitely more opaque than the white base I have from P. Louise. And, but it's just thick. Like a little definitely goes a long way. So I'm just taking some of the dark minnow color and I'm just gonna buff that in my outer V. Just like right here in this little crevice area. Then I'm taking the Kano shade and I'm just overlapping those two colors. This eye always comes out better, like without fail. It's so annoying. I'm just doing the same thing on this other eye, just taking that darker color right at the lower lash, well, bottom of my top lid. And then just buffing that. 
lighter brown over top. Okay, so I just overlap those two colors. Now I'm gonna go in, it doesn't have to be perfect, but now I'm gonna go in with this Amina shade and I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner. I'm just gonna take it with my MAC 242 brush. This is the old version. It's not like the new synthetic version that everyone hates. And then I'm just gonna apply that to my inner corner. I'm debating if I should use MAC Fix Plus to kind of saturate it a little bit. I'm just gonna see how it goes on first. Ooh, nice. I don't really think I need any Mac Fix Plus. Maybe I'll go over it a little bit after I apply it. And then I'm just gonna bring, marry those colors together. Yeah. Just gonna take some eyeliner and mascara. I'm using the NYX Matte Black Eyeliner. And for my mascara, I'm just gonna use the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast. If you want this look to look more natural, you can just wear your mascara. You don't have to put on lashes, but I am a lashes girl, so I'm definitely gonna put on lashes. You guys know I love the Cherry Blossom Lash in 62. So that is what I will be putting on today. All right guys, I am back with the final look. I love this look. I definitely think this is a look I would wear every day, honestly, because it's like super easy, nothing too crazy, and I think it looks really nice and it goes really well with most skin tones. So I know it's a new year. I am super excited about what this year has in store for us and I wanted to give back to you guys. I love you guys so much. You have been so supportive. And every time I see a comment on my video or you guys like a post, it really brings joy to my heart. Like you guys have no idea. I'm not trying to be cheesy or anything, but this is just me being super transparent with you guys. So with that being said, I wanted to give back to you guys and do a giveaway. So the giveaway will include two winners. I'm gonna be giving away two palettes, one of each, and it's gonna be the Juvia's Place Violet's Palette, and I'm also gonna be giving away the palette that I use today on my eyes. I bought both these palettes with my own coins, nobody's sponsoring this video. It's just my love and pouring it out to you guys. So if you guys want to enter my giveaway, Make sure you like this video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, and if you want an extra entry for the giveaway, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Also, comment down below your Instagram names, that way I can put an extra entry for you if you do follow me on Instagram, that way I can match them up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I cannot wait to do more videos for you guys in the near future. And I will see you soon. All right, have a great day. Bye. I don't have to party to have